Yeah, I'm Robert for Cam's Mortgage Minute on Tuesday, November 13th. Well, that's exactly what uh, some uh, forecasters that were polled are saying. Uh, the economists who were polled, uh, 20 of them in fact, uh, had uh, come to the consensus that they feel that the Canadian housing market is going to correct by around 10%. Now, the correction, according to them, is going to be uh, not exactly all at once. It is going to be gradual. Uh, they feel that 2012 and 2013 still, uh, the price is still going to, the average house price is going to rise by 0.1%. Uh, Toronto house prices, according to them, are going to, in 2012, uh, the median price is going to rise by 0.3 and uh, there's going to be a 2% drop in 2013. Vancouver house prices, they're predicting a fall of around 4.8% in 2013. Uh, then they were asked a question, if you think the Canadian house prices will fall, how much in percentage terms do you think they will drop from here? 5% was the median, forecast range from 0 to 25%. Most of them thought that the prices would uh, you know, not happen until 2014, 2015. They would either drop or stabilize at that point. And on a scale of 1 to 10, they were asked if um, 1 being extremely undervalued and 5 being fairly valued and 10 being extremely overvalued, what best describes the, Canadian, uh, the current average level of Canadian house prices relative to fundamentals? Uh, 7 was the median from about 14 of the forecasters and that ranged anywhere from five to eight. And basically they were asked, do you think the Canadian government will tighten mortgage rules within the next 12 months to cool the housing market? 10 of them said yes and four said no, so some of them thought there may be some further tightening yet to come. So the bottom line is from all consensus that most of them felt, uh, 20 economists in general, that we had averted hopefully the US style crash and that uh, basically we are seeing a cooling of the uh, market. And that they would, uh, their main consensus was that we should probably see about a 10% correction. But we're not going to see that probably until, like I said, two or three years out. Uh, basically, housing starts, they're uh, predicting, are going to be lower, which certainly, uh, you know, would obviously make it logical at that point. Uh, they figure that there will be a 17.5% drop in home building. And that will certainly have an impact on the Canadian housing market. But that should change once the global economy in general picks up a little bit of steam. Uh, one of the economists who was, uh, you know, polled uh, certainly had much stronger viewpoints, and that's a gentleman named David Mad uh, Madani. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And his, uh, he's been saying all along that he thinks we're going to see a 25% plunge in real estate prices. Uh, he's been advocating that for some time. Well, time will tell whether he's correct or not. Uh, but again, mostly all the respondents who answered still believe the Canadian government has done enough to slow the housing market and hopefully prevent that U.S. style crash. Uh, mortgage rules, have they made an impact? Well, they all agreed that they certainly have. There's been a lot of obviously changes in the mortgage rules that have happened. Uh, fundamentally, uh, amortizations dropping from 40 to 25 years, tightening of the self-employed rules, lots of different things that these folks felt that were leading to that slowing of the market overall. Um, and again, it's, it's prevalent. We're seeing it. Sales of existing homes are dropping. Uh, prices yet are to be caught up. There's still a bit of a lag other than in some outlying areas and stuff where prices have certainly dropped a lot. But overall, these 20 economists, uh, the consensus from them is, for the most part, that uh, we're going to see that 10% correction in prices. We're probably not going to see it out until for none, until 2014, 2015. They're not predicting it right away. Uh, you know what, if that much time goes on in between, who knows what consumer confidence does. Uh, where it goes, what happens in the U.S. There's so many loose cannons with all this stuff that it really will be an interesting time ahead. I mean, it's uh, is it going to be like 2008 when we had the subprime correction and the meltdown and stuff? I mean, who knows? That was short-lived for a while, but this one certainly could play out a lot longer. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that bit of information that came out. These are uh, the Brain Trust, uh, 20 guys, 20 economists who apparently know what they're doing. So we're going to see how right they are or how wrong they are. The beauty is that we'll have time to look back and reflect on it and see if uh, you know their predictions are going to be uh, woefully inadequate or they're going to be correct. Anyway, on our end, we're still doing mortgages out here. We've still got uh, great deals. As you know, rates are pretty low. None of these economists see rates going up anytime soon. We've got some fantastic deals uh, on five-year money, 10-year money. I mean, it's just, it's insane. I mean, there's 65-year lows for these rates. 
And from what I'm seeing out there, there's a reasonable amount of foreclosures. There's some really good buys out there. So if you have been thinking about buying a house, you're still debating what to do, give us a call. It's uh, Cam, Cam the Mortgage Man. We're here to help. Call the Auxilium team. We'll help you out. We're uh, anytime. One, uh, eight, you can just call me 250-686-4246. Give me a shout. Be happy to help. And I will see you tomorrow and we'll see uh, what we can chat about tomorrow.